trigonometry actually this name comes from three greek letters that is tri gona and metri tri means three gona means angle and metri means measurement so basically it means three angle measurement and we can find three angles in a triangle this chapter deals with a right angle triangle a b c now as we know that the triangles interior angles of triangle sum of these angles is equals to 180 degree we got 90 over here if i take this angle as theta then this angle will be 90 minus theta these are two complementary angles now we have six trigonometric metric ratios those are sin cosine tangent cosecant secant and cotangent we can write the sin in a short form like sin but we read it as sin theta this theta is nothing but an angle any angle and we can write cosine as cos theta tangent as tan theta cosecant as cosec theta secant as sec theta and cotangent as cot theta these are six trigonometric ratios now after that <coughs> we have some sides for this trigonometric ratios if i take a right angle triangle with a b and c angle b is 90 degree if i am looking from c if i am considering this angle so the ang the side which is opposite to the angle is called as opposite side and the side which is adjacent to it called as adjacent side and the inclined side is called as hypotenuse in the same way if i have one more right angle triangle with a b c now i am considering a as the angle so this side opposite to the angle is the opposite side and this side will be the adjacent side and the inclined side as it is it is hypotenuse so in order to learn the sides of this trigonometric ratios we have a simple equation by name old harry and his old aunt write the six trigonometric ratios over here sin theta cosecant theta cos theta secant theta tan theta and cot theta we have some sides for these each trigonometric ratios now if you learn this sentence it will help you to write the sides for this trigonometric ratios that is old harry and his old aunt you take the initials of each word that is old harry and his old aunt which means o resembles for opposite side h for hypotenuse a for adjacent side again h for hypotenuse o for opposite side a for adjacent side in this way you can learn now i arranged sin with cosecant because this reciprocal for this trigonometric ratio is cosecant reciprocals means to directly flip it hypotenuse by opposite side 
now flip this hypotenuse by adjacent side now flip this adjacent by opposite side so sine reciprocal is cosecant cos reciprocal is secant and tan reciprocal is cot now <coughs> we can name this as trigonometric ratios in terms of sides because we are using opposite adjacent hypotenuse these are sides of a right angle triangle now we will take trigonometric ratios in terms of ratios that will be the sine theta will get as cosecant theta cos theta can be written as 1 by secant theta tan theta can be written as 1 over cot theta or you can write it as sin theta by cos theta similarly we have for cosecant theta see sin is reciprocal of cosecant so cosecant will be reciprocal of 1 by sin theta and secant theta will be 1 by cos theta and cot theta will be 1 by tan theta or else you can write cos theta by sin theta okay then after that we have angles if I take sin 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta secant 90 minus theta cosecant 90 minus theta and cot 90 minus theta we can write sin 90 minus theta as cos theta cos 90 minus theta as sin theta tan 90 minus theta as cot theta secant 90 minus theta as cosecant theta cosecant as secant theta and cot as tan theta then we have identities we have three identity the first identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 the second identity is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 and the third and final identity is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1 now if you take the first identity we can also write this as sin square theta this plus cos square theta will goes over there beside 1 this plus will become negative cos square theta simultaneously if we keep cos over here and if we transpose this sign over there this will become 1 minus sin square theta so if in any problem you are getting sin square theta you can change it to 1 minus cos square theta or else 1 minus cos square theta can be written as 1 sin square theta simultaneously you can change for the second identity if you keep secant theta square theta over here then 1 this negative tan will become positive tan square theta and if you are sending this tan square theta over there as positive tan square theta and bringing this positive 1 over here it will become negative 1 this secant theta will be as it is so secant square theta minus 1 will be tan square theta simultaneously for third identity if we keep secant cosecant square theta over here and 
taking this negative cot over there it will become positive cot square theta simultaneously you take this cot over here it will be plus cot theta bring this one over here it will be negative one beside cosecant square theta so cosecant square theta minus one will be cot square theta next we have some formulas that is sin a plus b equals to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b then sin a minus b equals sin a cos b <coughs> minus cos a sin b for cot sorry cos a plus b we have cos a cos b minus sin a sin b for cos a minus b will be having cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so from starting you got the idea of the chapter trigonometry then triangle right angle triangle all six trigonometric ratios then how to use the side if angle is over here opposite adjacent if angle is over here this will be opposite this will be adjacent then we have the old Harry and his old aunt sentence by that we took all the sides of six trigonometric ratios these are called as trigonometric ratios in terms of sides. This trigonometric ratios in terms of ratios. Also we have ratios in angles, identities and we got two formulas over here. If you learn this, if you buy hard this, if you are able to learn it properly and buy hard it thoroughly, then you can do the chapter 11 trigonometry trigonometry sorry of Telangana state syllabus after that inshallah I'll do 11.1 11.2 11.3 and 11.4 important problems so that you can be able to grasp everything present in this concept thanks a lot wait for my next video upload